say something like that and you use that buzzword, if you will, concussion, it's going to get a lot of attention. And that was certainly the case with Tom Brady this week. Uh, listen, uh, that, that's her opinion. And it certainly uh, it got people talking, Dan. It absolutely did, and I think uh, I think the, what we've been waiting for is some more clarity. We haven't heard from her or from Tom Brady. We did hear from Adam Schefter, who talked to Tom Brady's agent, right? Well, we will talk to Adam Schefter right now. Adam, I know you've spoken with Tom Brady's agent. What can you tell us? He said that Tom Brady, Wendy, was not diagnosed with a concussion last year at all. And essentially this matches up to what the NFL said this week when – Basically, it said it went through the medical records, and there are no records to indicate that Tom Brady suffered a head injury or concussion or exhibited or complained of concussion symptoms. Now, again, we're just going to go by what we know at this point. We have Tom Brady's agent saying that he did not get diagnosed with a concussion. We have the NFL saying that there are no records that indicate that Brady suffered any kind of head injury or concussion. And, again, we have people on the scene designated concussion spotters who, if Tom Brady did suffer a concussion, missed on that particular situation and did not do their job. So that's not to say that Tom Brady didn't suffer some type of head injury this year, but again, all the people who are around him, who are in charge of watching this, all now say that they do not have any records or evidence that this particular incident happened. Now, we have his wife saying what she did. And it was fairly direct. She doesn't speak about football often. We've now heard Giselle's opinion on football matters twice. Once after the 2011 Super Bowl when she basically said the wide receivers couldn't hold on to passes. And now this time when she said Tom Brady had concussions last year and every year. So I think in a way here, all we can do is judge the people by what they're saying. That's not to say that what she's saying isn't true, but there's a lot of evidence that suggests something to the contrary right now. Adam, thank you. Uh, look, and you're right. I, I don't want to say he said, she said, because I don't think this was probably an intended controversy. Uh, but nevertheless, there are a number of medical records and personnel here who say simply Tom Brady did not suffer a concussion. Josina. Well, I think number one, this can come down to characterization and the use of the word concussion, if that's indeed, you know, what she meant and to the full extent that a concussion means what it means. The other part of it is, is it doesn't mean that Tom Brady didn't express symptoms that could sound like or appear, you know, to come across like that is at home. We don't know what he said, how he was describing, how he felt, and maybe her description of that came from that. None of that we know. You'd have to literally sit down with Giselle and, and ask her a follow-up question. What did you mean? Where did that come from? You know, what was said to make you say that? So you don't know if she misspoke or if she's illuminating, you know, things that she heard based on how Tom Brady expressed how he felt. We've been saying this since Wednesday when it first happened. We, we should stick to what we do know and not speculate about what we Absolutely. don't. We're hearing now that the mechanisms that are in place to monitor concussions tell us he didn't have one. Does that mean for a fact he didn't? No, because the NFL concussion system is still evolving and not yet perfect, and these discussions are important to keep having. All of which is fair. What I will also say, though, is the swift reaction and the headlines this did generate are a good thing, an indication that the league and player uh, players are taking this seriously. Uh, meanwhile, you can blame this one on Mother, Ra Mother Nature.